Hello everyone, welcome to this video and in this video I'm going to show you guys exactly what is currently happening with Bitcoin, why we got some crazy volatility today, we got some crazy news today, we are currently creating some crazy patterns, plus I'll show you why Bitcoin is heating up for the biggest gold candle you will ever see. So all that in this video, but first let's just quickly check this chart out right here. So we can see that we are still creating an uptrend. We have been creating this uptrend all the way since my birthday actually, which is the 25th of September. We are right now trading at the 6th of October. So this uptrend is already 11 days long and also 11 days strong, which is really, really nice. We can see we have not wicked under this um, green line right here and we have been creating higher highs every single time however Bitcoin of course yesterday started to do some really interesting things and today actually we wicked cr like crazy to the downside and what happened right here well it's actually quite easy to explain today we got the NFP data which means a no farm payrolls we can see that it soared by 336,000 in September versus on 170,000 forecast which is quite bullish. That's why we saw some volatility up and down, which is really, really nice. Now I'm going to show you guys some really, really, really interesting charts over on Bitcoin. It's crazy what we're currently doing. But first, before I show you guys that, I really want to say that if you right now want to claim at free $25, and it's going to be the easiest $25 you're ever going to make in your life because all you need to do is sign up for a Bybit account using the first link in the description. And Bybit is currently running a special event that if you demo trade on their platform within the next one day, this event is running for one day and 18 hours more, you can enter. Um, and what you have to do, all you have to do is demo trade for seven days on their platform. And if you do that, you get five lucky spins. And if you do a lucky spin right um, here, you can see that you have uh, be able to uh, spin this wheel and you can get prices from $5 to $2 to 5 cents to a good luck coupon and a lot more interesting stuff. So this is completely free money. You have five spins, which means you can get $25 completely for free. All you need to do is demo trade on the Bybit platform for seven days in a row and then you can claim your free $25. Of course, there's also a chance that you get a little bit less, but it's always at least a price. So it's completely free money. Now that I have said that, let's look at the Bitcoin chart because Bitcoin is right now actually creating a pretty big pattern right here. This is the four hour chart and we are right now creating the symmetrical triangle. We all know that the symmetrical triangle has a 50-50 chance of breaking out, which is nice for us right now. However, what is a chance that we are going to see a, a breakout within the next couple of hours, next couple of days? Well, we all know that we are right now trading into the weekend, which means that we have a CME gap that we are going to create if we do decide to break out and it looks like right now that we could potentially get a massive move to the up or downside within the next couple of days and that is probably going to be into the weekend and that will create a CME gap. Right now we already have a CME gap here laying of course at around $27,100. However, if we do decide to break to the downside, then we will fill this CME gap. However, we will be creating another massive CME gap. So that's something we want to look at because if we create a CME gap, we most of the time tend to fill it again. So yeah, that will be pretty bullish for Bitcoin. If we go to the downside, we are likely to go to the upside. And if we go to the upside, we are likely to come to the downside again. So yeah, this CME gap is probably going to break out somewhere into the weekend and it's going to cause a pretty big move. However, that move will probably probably be reversed again because we are creating a CME gap. Then also if we look at this chart, we currently have two ranges. And of course, the last two days have actually been quite boring for Bitcoin. We have not been doing that much. We have been trading between $27,200 and $27,800 for the last two days. Of course, that's a big range, but still boring in my opinion. It looks like, however, that we are starting to see a massive move to either direction. We are right now have the first, uh, we have two ranges. This is the first one, this is the second one. and. If we break to the upside of this range, then of course, like I told you guys in my video from yesterday, we are going to see a massive, massive move to the down, uh, to the upside, sorry, to the upside, of course. However, if we move to the downside of this range, if we get into the second range right here, then there is a massive, massive chance that we are going to break to the downside because this basically means that we are getting into bearish territory and it means that the bulls cannot get back into the bullish territory or it cannot hold bullish territory. 
our target, which means that it's a really likely scenario that we are going to break down all the way like this, like I told in my video from yesterday. However, we still have to decide if that's actually going to happen based on which trend we are trading in right now. And if we look at this chart, we are, like I said a few minutes ago, still in an uptrend. We are still creating higher highs and there is just a pretty big chance that we are going to create another higher high breaking to the upside which could bring us all the way to a new yearly high. We can also see right here that we are potentially making somewhat of a double bottom and here on the shorter time frame or if we zoom in a little bit we can also see that we are we of course now made a lower low however this could also just be a lower high which is also really bullish this right here we are creating higher highs right here as well which is good and if we look at the four hour chart we can right now see that this week has been completely bought up which is really really bullish and if we close the candle right here there's a four hour candle and we have 30 minutes left if we close it like this that means that the bulls have tried to break us to the downside we perfectly got support from off this level and then the bulls could easily push it to the upside meaning that the bears lost this candle which will probably pump us to the upside like we are seeing right now and then the next few four hour candles could also be to the upside meaning that we are making another higher high if we zoom out a little bit which is going to be extremely extremely bullish and that followed by um, the pattern I just showed you guys right here if we break out right now that's going to be really really good because if we take the breakout potential breakout target now we can do it like this and a potential breakout target is going to be at around $29,000 which is just going to be a massive massive move we have not revisited that level all the way since August of uh, the 16th of August so yeah, that is really, really massive for right now for Bitcoin. So there could be a massive move heading to us right now. If we look at this chart right there, we can still clearly see that we are in an uptrend, like I said. However, if, if we did close this candle into the red, then we could also get into a downtrend, uptrend to a downtrend. So yeah, currently we are still in decision pace. Like I told you guys yesterday, this is a clear decision pace and we just need to wait either way for before we can get any direction on where we're going in the next couple of weeks. We first need to see where we're going to head up and if we're going to make another higher high or a lower low. Because if we create another higher high, that will bring us into a really, really good up trend potentially like i said sending us really really high but if we get into a lower low that is not going to be good at all and that's going to send us into a downtrend meaning that bitcoin will probably go down for the next couple of weeks but if we now make a higher high which seems like it's actually happening we are making a really nice candle right here then that could potentially put us into a massive massive uptrend following with a lot of bullish bullish price action in the next couple of weeks we just have a massive massive move ahead of us and like i said if we finally break out of this dumbass, uh, dumbass consolidation phase right here, this is now more than a two month consolidation phase or almost a two month consolidation phase. We've been trading in this so long, it's absolutely crazy. But once we break this again, Bitcoin is going to go sky, sky high. Because what I told you guys also on my Twitter, if you don't follow me on Twitter, it's Justin Gallum, link in the description. I told you guys that the uh, volatility for Bitcoin is currently at an all time low. All the way, we have not seen data, and this is uh, we're at a volatility lower than we have seen since the 2020, uh, 2019, 2020 bear market, which means that we are currently experiencing some crazy low volatility, which of course means a massive, massive move is ahead of us. And it's going to be absolutely Absolutely crazy. Funding rates are also still pretty negative, as you guys can see, meaning that funding rates, uh, meaning negative, means that Bitcoin could potentially sky, go sky high as well, because this means a lot more shorters are currently in the market, which means that we could potentially get a massive short squeeze if we break out of this pattern, and it actually seems like we are potentially breaking out. However, we do first need, of course, to close a four hour candle above it. But it's actually kind of crazy that we are right now creating this video and it's right now breaking to the upside. Then one more thing right here, we can just simply see that we are potentially creating this massive, massive bear flag for Bitcoin. And if you think bear flag, or sorry, I mean bull flag, if you think bull flag, then this isn't clear bull flag. And if we break to the upside of it, then it could potentially send us 
And this is a really, really bullish pattern, especially because it's on the one week time frame. It could potentially send us to around $46,000, which is going to be absolutely crazy. That is a massive target, of course, and it means that a massive, massive candle is ahead of us. So yeah, Bitcoin is right now in the decision phase and there in this weekend, we are probably going to get the decision on where we're moving in the next couple of weeks. We are going to get a clear decision this weekend based on where we break out and if we're going to get into a downtrend or uptrend. So yeah, guys, that is all I have for you guys right now. Our channel is growing like crazy, as you guys can see right now. I really, really appreciate you guys' support. Of course, the trades have been doing really nice on the channel. And if I see another trade, I will definitely take it with you guys, of course. I will definitely let it know on my YouTube channel. So yeah, I really, really appreciate the support. If you could like this video, subscribe to my channel. That would be really, really, really appreciated. And make sure to turn off the post notifications so when I post a new video with a new trade, you don't miss it out. That being said, I hope guys, I will see you in my next YouTube crypto video when something big is going to happen.